Have you ever found yourself slipping into a negative mood where every thought you have seems to be about what is wrong with the world? And maybe you've taken this further and responded to people with anger and frustration when you know that the situation really didn't call for it. One of my viewers recently asked me to create a video and talk about this situation because they find themselves doing this quite often. And this is something that I can easily talk about because I have a lot of experience with this. Uh, for a lot of years, I was hypercritical of just about everything. And the reason I got into that, and here's the important thing, because maybe you're not there yet, but maybe you could be if certain things go a different direction. Now, before I got into that negative mind space, I was a good student. I was a straight A student for the most part, and I was good in school because I was really focused on the details. And I was so focused on the details where if people used the wrong word in a sentence, like they used the word belief instead of faith, or they used the word expectation instead of confidence or something along that line. Those are all four words that roughly mean similar things. There are slight differences between them. I mean, the difference between belief and faith. You could argue it either way, which one is stronger than the other. Well, I would spend quite a bit of time talking to people about the difference in meaning between one word and another, even though they were very slight and really could be used interchangeably. I was good in school because I was focused on the details, but that focus on the details and that need to be right, and not so much to prove that I was better than anyone else, but just to prove to myself that I knew what I was talking about. That's the need to be right that I'm referring to here. It has nothing to do with what other people did or thought or, or anything along that. It was really just a need that I am someone who knows what I'm talking about. That was the feeling that I had within myself. So I needed that confirmation that I knew the slight subtle differences between things. Well, that's kind of where I was before I got started with all this. Well, that pattern of looking for those slight differences, that's what got me into that negative space because anytime something came up, either in conversation or the way somebody did something, it's like, that's not right. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it this way instead of that way. And, and you'll get better results if you do this instead of that. And I was in that kind of space. Well, when you start to develop a habit, and you allow yourself to get more and more into that habit, it becomes so much easier to continue with that habit. And so that hypercritical nature of my mind, looking for what's better than the others, what's the right way to do something, what's the wrong way to do something, that's another belief that actually entered into this whole picture. Because when I went through school, I acquired the belief that there was one right answer to any problem and anything else was wrong. There are many situations in life where there are many different answers that all could be right and good enough at least. Well, that's not where I was. And so I continued on that pathway of this is right, everything else is wrong. And it just kept building on each other, building on itself, building on itself, building on itself, snowballing to the point where I eventually found myself in this pattern where almost everything that happened in my life, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. She shouldn't have said that. Why, why this and why that? And, and I was just responding to everything with a critical response. And that continued over and over and over again until I was literally getting in a rage, a flat out top quality anger at so many things that just were not right. Now, in the world of manifesting, we learn that 
the consciousness that we have inside ourselves, our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs, our consciousness creates our reality. Well, guess what kind of reality I was creating for myself by being hypercritical and focusing on what was wrong with everything. Can you, can you guess what was happening in my life? <laughs> yeah, everything was going wrong. And I knew that at some level because I was studying this stuff and I was learning about it. And, and at some point I realized that, yes, I do create my reality. And that was really the reason why I got into this manifesting because everything was going wrong. I needed a way to set things right. And so I learned about the power of our mind. I learned about the power of thoughts. I learned about the power of focus and focusing on what we want to create in order to manifest it into our lives. And I did see a lot of success with that. But even though I was seeing a lot of success with my manifesting efforts, it was like I was able to grow a flower in a, in a patch of weeds, but the patch of weeds was still there. And I was focused on the patch of weeds rather than the flower. So I was fighting against myself for many, many years, trying to focus on creating good things, but being really upset, frustrated, and angry about everything in my life that was not right. Eventually, it came to a head. It came to a peak, a climax, where literally it was worst case scenario. Um, I had created for myself a situation where I was in this small apartment being beaten up by four guys twice my size. And in that experience, I thought I was, I thought it was over. I thought this was going to be the end of my life. There was blood on the walls. All of it was mine. <laughs> it's like, I have no control over this and I'm just praying. It's like, okay, help me get out of this. I, I just need to get out of this. And eventually it was over. They didn't take it to that conclusion. They didn't take it that far. And I w eventually was let go, but it, was an experience that stayed with me for quite a few years. And it continued that whole pattern. It gave me a reason to continue that mental pattern of this isn't right, that isn't right, that shouldn't have happened. And do you ever get into that state of looking at the past and thinking this should not have happened, that should not have happened. Boy, it really would have been different if, if things would have been different in my past. I would have been in a different place today and I'm, I'm so much further behind now than what I could have been. <laughs> when we're focused on problems, we create problems. And so I eventually did make the decision that I had to change that if I truly was the causative element in my life and life was a reflection of what was going on inside me, I had to change. And I did talk about this in a previous video. I'll link to it up here about manifesting good luck because this is the point that my luck changed. And what I ended up doing is I had time so I made a conscious decision to focus on something positive. I was going to let go of all the anger. I was going to let go of all the critical thinking and I was going to embrace a new life. And I was focused on the emotion of love. And the first time I sat down to focus on love, it's like, yeah, love is a good thing. I, I truly enjoy it when I am in love. And this is a wonderful feeling. And about two minutes into that, a stray thought went through my mind and it's like, but that shouldn't have happened. And this is wrong and that's wrong. And I just went off into a rage again. And 10 minutes later, I realized what had happened. And it's like, oh, great. That should not have happened. <laughs> I was turning that critical thinking back to myself. It's like, okay, I need to clear that out, clear it away. I need to go back to it and keep going. And so I sat down again. I focused my mind on love. I focused my mind on positive things. And it's like, okay, at this point, I am going to pretend that everything in my life is wonderful because that is the reality I want to create. 
I want to create a life where everything is wonderful. So that's what I have to focus on. I have to focus on everything in my life is wonderful. Everything goes my way. Everything is absolutely perfect. And I love my life. And I had to get into that. And that lasted for about 10 minutes. And then I went off into another rage. <laughs> another stray thought went through my mind. But I kept going back to it. I kept getting back into it. And I kept refocusing my mind and letting go of that past pattern. And it took time. It didn't happen overnight. It took a couple of weeks before I started to really feel calm and centered within myself. And interestingly enough, for the couple of months after that period of time, I spent about two weeks refocusing my mind, redirecting my thinking. And I noticed after that time that what used to be Murphy's Law, where everything that could go wrong did go wrong at the worst possible time, it's like, I'm in a different world. This, this doesn't happen to me. Things are actually going right. Things that could go right did go right at the best possible time. Murphy's Law had been reversed. And I had turned bad luck into good luck by changing the way I thought and felt within myself. And then sometime later after that, obviously things started to go downhill after a period of time and I had to refresh my new direction. It was a pattern that I had to continue. And no, I don't have to focus on that every single day. I don't even have to focus on it every single week. But every once in a while, getting into a meditation and just focusing on what feels good, what imagine, what looks good, what sounds good, what tastes good, all of the different good feelings that we can experience in life, just focusing on what's right and what's good in life is something that I find that I have to do every so often. I mean, once a month is good. It could be more often, actually, because things have gone right more often than not. It's not something that's very far away. It's not something I have to reach for anymore. And this is the point that I want to get to here is that manifesting is more than just simply holding a thought to manifest a result. Manifesting is also a pattern a pattern of thinking, a pattern of feeling, a pattern of responding to the world. And the pattern of who we are manifests as patterns. If we focus on a pattern of everything works to my benefit, I have good luck. I am blessed. My life is wonderful. By focusing on these global concepts, that encompass everything in our lives. And by focusing on this in a positive way, we can create a pattern where the world is working for us, not against us. And then once you start building a momentum in the positive way, it carries you along with it. And life truly does become one blessing after another. If you're stuck in that negative concepts, in that negative consciousness, in that negative pattern, it's gonna take a little bit of effort to change it. But I can tell you from my own experience, the rewards are worth many times the effort it takes. So I wanna leave you with that. Until next time, be blessed my friend.